What's going on, guys? Welcome to the first episode of the Texas series. Yes, I am down in Texas for the first time in my life and uh, on this gorgeous lake right here. Kind of a cloudy, windy, overcast morning, but it's April, so the catfishing should be good, which is what we are targeting today. Going out with a guide. I'll get into more detail as the video unfolds, but for right now, we're going catfishing with a guide, and my dad is with me. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Really good to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you, Mr. Steve. You want me to push us off? Right. Excellent. Yeah. I take it you bass fish some as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good at all. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're used to trout fishing, you know, for small trout and stuff like that. So this is this is a thrill to us. So I know you're probably used to catching 100 pounders, so if we caught a 30 pounder, we'd be thrilled. Basically, drift fishing. Oh, sure. Like I've seen it on YouTube, but I have never done it. It's not sitting stationary. We're letting the wind blow us down the lake, and we'll run three rods out. That's cool. I've never seen anybody use chicken for bait. I've, I've never, I was about to. <laughs> That's a new one on you, but. It is new. <laughs> Chicken breast for bait, <laughs> and we've got bluegill. That's good. Cool. Take these perks, I'll just cut them open a little bit. See, if we used a bluegill that big in Idaho, you, you wouldn't, you'd be waiting all day for a catfish that was big enough to like swallow that. Uh huh. That's a cocktail all about here. Yeah. <laughs> what is this setup you got? It's That's a, a float rig. When we fish for blue cat, they don't necessarily live on the bottom, they're up. Suspended. Okay. Got a big weight, one ounce weight down there. Uh huh. With a leader to a float cork, ah. which floats that bait up off the bottom. Okay. Unlike channel cat, we can't eat meat or fish eaters. Ah. Uh, I think that's got to be some fried chicken now. <laughs> Never seen this before. <laughs> and an extra hook in there. Cheater hook on there for insurance. <laughs> Well guys, we came out here to learn about catfishing in Texas and about this lake and already within the first few minutes learning some brand new stuff. So here's the deal folks, um, I'm actually fishing with Gerald Swindle, he's a professional bass fisherman and uh, there's a, basically I got, I got linked with him via Toyota and there's going to be a big video going down next week and so I have to prepare for my part of the video which is I'm taking him catfishing. Well, of course, I don't know nothing about catfishing in Texas, so that's why we hired this guide. And I'm going to be spending the next few days trying to learn catfishing on this lake um, so that when I meet him and take him fishing, take him on a catfish catch and cook, I'll kind of know what to do. So that is the whole point of having a guide out here and doing this whole thing. All right, so we've got uh, three lines out. My dad's holding one. we got a bluegill. Bluegill on these two, and my dad's holding one with chicken on it. I like chicken. You like chicken? <laughs> so now we sit around and we talk and tell stories and keep an eye on the fishing rods. Wait for one of them to go off. There you go. You got him? Oh. Hey. Oh, first fish of the day, guys. All right. That was funny because the rod just went like, yeah, 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 it didn't, yeah, it didn't go crazy. It just, there was just weight. Small one little guy but got the uh, skunk out of the boat on that uh, bluegill blue little blue cat there you want to eat some fish um, do you want to eat any pops or are you yeah, yeah not to not the, the first day so windy, yeah I'd say yeah let's do it have a little cookout uh-huh yeah appreciate it but we're not not today we're just gonna we're just gonna fish all day so I really want a big fish today. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. It's, it's to learn a lake, but I wouldn't mind catching my personal best today, which is very doable in Texas, because my personal best, I think, is 12 pounds. That's big for Idaho. That's tiny for Texas. It's like a parachute. 
an underwater parachute. So that's like a an underwater parachute, guys. Just helps slow our drift as we uh, drift along out here. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. Boy, that was fast. Fish on. Fish on. It just doubled over, guys. That was so cool, guys. Yes. Yes, this feels like a little bit better one. Yeah, yeah. That's the bite we were waiting for. It just, just took off. Yeah, they don't mess around. One. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. No <laughs> That's on that big bluegill. Look at that, guys. Nice. Wow. That's a record. Yeah. I think that might be a person. You know, I have a little scale. I'm going to weigh this guy up. Yeah, we got one. All right. On that big old bluegill right there, guys. Fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Steve. That is yeah, cool. Good job. Ah, just a little shy of 10 pounds. That looks like a bigger than 10 Boy, pounds. Boy, it sure thing. does to me. <laughs> wow. 961, it says. All right, we're gonna let this sucker go. Today's just a catfishing day, guys. No no cooking. All right, you big sucker. There you go. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Look at that one. You wanna grab that one? All right, guys, right, away, right after we release that kid, hit catfish. He's off. Oh shoot! Shoot! Well, can I just leave that out there, we're Steve? In. We're in on him here, guys. We're in on him. All right, guys. I'm gonna tempt the fates here. I got a sandwich. And as soon as I get all set up with this, that's when we're gonna get one. There you go. There you go. Got him, got him. Yes. All right, on the front one again on that big bluegill. See, I was eating my sandwich, guys. Sure enough, one bit. I knew it. This feels like a good one. You know, he feels, he's not fighting hard, he just feels heavy. Yeah, he's fouled up, that's why he wasn't fighting. Oh, I hooked him like in the, oh. Nice. All right, little cat. He has the it's hooked in the mouth and the tail. And the side. Oh, there we go. That's cool. All right. Just had to get a sandwich out. Yep, yeah, had to get a <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I knew it. I called for my wife for a sandwich. Yeah, you know, time. my whenever my mom calls, we get a, we get a uh, usually get a fish too. It is the weirdest thing. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah. Did she say? <laughs> yeah, we don't have a kitchen though. That's kind of the hard that thing. Was, yeah, you yeah. have to do it out in the truck. She likes fried catfish, but she uh, loves fried catfish. Hmm. I'll ask her. You know what we're gonna do? Since this is that juicy middle size, can I put them in a live one? And I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I might cook it on the tailgate of my truck. I have all this stuff for it. All right, guys, we're gonna throw him in there. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. All right. <laughs> it's such a perfect size eating oh, yeah. one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Drift fishing for catfish. Never done this before. I'm gonna get back to the lucky sandwich here. Well, I took two bites. Get a fish. Oh, there you go. There we go. Sir. Nice. Does it feel very big? Uh, no, he doesn't. Oh, good eating size there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that is. It's a good eating. Yeah. You know, I think I think we should yeah, two in the live well, that'll be that'll be good. That might be real fun. I'll just cook them on the back of the truck and bring them up into the room. Yeah, sit in the lobby and eat catfish. All right, guys. You know, we're going to keep one more of these little suckers. Given that perfect little size there. Catch and cook fried catfish in my in the hotel lobby. Yeah, in the hotel. Guys, we're just staying at a hotel down here in Texas. So, the, one of the reasons why I wasn't gonna do a catch and cook is after we got down here, we're just gonna go back to the hotel. But I think I'm just gonna cook them on the bed of my truck, actually. You know, I, I can hardly catch something without wanting to cook it, really. Got him. Yep. <laughs> we switched spots. Guys, this, I think it's a big fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's a, it feels heavy. 
Unless he's foul hooked or something. You said at about 12 o'clock, it's... <laughs> Guys, Steve said, it's funny, we catch a lot of times our biggest fish right at 12 o'clock. And sure enough, it's 11.47 right now. That is funny. Oh, he's not a giant. Oh, he's foul hooked. Dang it. Reeling him in backwards. Dang it, guys, he's foul hooked. Oh, there we go, he kind of came loose. There we go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, that's cool, I guess. All right, guys, we're gonna let this guy go. We're just gonna keep two catfish for now. Man, I thought he was gonna be a big one. Dang it. So it is 12.04 right now, so hopefully in the next like 10 minutes, right around noon, right around noon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, right around noon. Right, oh, he just, oh, shoot. Oh, that's, because <laughs> it's 12.05, you see that, 12.05. Oh my, yeah, <laughs> 12, guys, look at the time, 12.05. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah. Got him. Got him again. Ooh, it's it's a it's a long time between bites, but they just load on. They don't there's no hesitation. This feels like a little bit better one maybe. What do we got? Another small cat. Dang it. You got the stinger hook. That bluegill's sure effective, though. You know what? Throw him in live well, too. That's such that, that like, tender little eating size. All right. It really, that it really is the last one, guys. Number three. One for each of us. There you go. I like it. What do we got? We got birds uh, coming up here. They're, they're getting all kinds of bait and stuff he's had on the surface there. Ah. The white bass school the shad up on the surface. All right, guys, we're going to try to catch us some white bass, or as they call sand bass, to end the day. Steve was nice, was nice enough to offer a little extra fishing, even though our time is up. And so we're going to see if we get some sand bass. All right, so we got there is a little just like chartreuse spoon. A little cast rod there. It looks like 10-pound test or so. Sweet. Aha. Uh -huh. You see all those clouds of bait there? In the graph. Okay. These guys are dropping it straight below the boat. Straight below. Oh, there we go. You got one already? Whoa! That was fast. Oh, that was fun. Too. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. That is cool. Is that your first? Uh, That's my first white white bass, as far as I know. Yeah. We got another one, right? Oh, <laughs> a couple. Of Very cool. That is cool. Look that little porker there. Fish, yeah. Yeah. See something cool? Look at the tail in his mouth. Oh, he has a shad down in there. Oh, that is cool. Nice. Right. Got it. <laughs> it didn't fall back down to the bottom. I was like, I think something's got it. All right, my first one. A little tiny snipe. Nice. Beautiful little fish. I got him. <laughs> That'll be law against fishing like this. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Oh, this one might be a keeper. Might be a keeper? You yeah, it. So I'd say, yeah, I'd say throw that in the in the bucket. Nice. Yes. Yeah, get a few fillets off that one. Oh, try yeah. some some, try some white sand bass, bass, sand white bass, bass, bass yeah. and catfish. Never done that before. Nice. Very nice. How are the catfish doing, by the way? Let's yeah. take a look there. They're doing good. Oh, they're all, everybody's happy. Everybody's fat, dumb, and happy. He'll, uh, he'll shake them up in there. Got him. Whoa, I know. I've, I've got Nemo here. That's... Beat my record? I think I beat your record. <laughs> That's an ambitious fish. He's, he's not gonna last long, I'm afraid, if that's his attitude. Oh. 
Well, that was a good time. That was good fun. fishing with you, Pops. Yeah, thank you. That was that real was good. good. That was good. Thank you, Mr. Steve. Appreciate yeah, it. Guys, you did good today. Sorry we yeah. couldn't get you a big one, but oh, oh. shoot, that, that was a lot of fun. No, that Didn't was fun. One on. Yeah, and you know, it's what well, that's fishing. You know, we're used to that. It's it's part of the game. It's part of the game. A ten pounder. I'm I'm happy with the ten pounder. It's time to get back home. We got to figure out how we're gonna cook these up, guys. In the middle of the city. Just right. Sweet. This is a sweet ride. Ah. All right, folks. Uh, so here's the little, little tiny problem with the catch and cook we have to do is um, I'm staying at a hotel. I don't think they would encourage you to deep fry fish and pickles and things like that in a hotel um i have to do it outside here but i'm kind of in i'm not kind of i am in the middle of the city so we're just gonna have to do it on the back of the forerunner here by the way huge shout out to toyota for hooking me up with this off-road uh forerunner for this trip this is a sweet ride and it's red my favorite color brand new thank you so much to them they are sponsoring this series and uh they gave me a truck to use for this trip. I'm actually getting ready for the main event, which will happen next week. Kind of pre-fishing and stuff like that, hence the guide. Um, but they're also sponsoring the whole series. So he, huge shout out to them for um, hooking me up with this. And check this out. It has this sweet feature where you can... Wait a second. This is what happens when I come to a big city. I end up fishing and doing all this stuff anyway. Let's try that again. All right. So you take this thing and... It slides out just like so, just like a miniature table. Now, there is uh, one thing about this. It's uh, it's so new, this vehicle is so new, I cannot just cook and have oil splattering all over. So, I actually just found this. <laughs> um, it's a just a board for packing. I could not stand to return Toyota's uh, brand new forerunner to them with oil stains all over it. So I got this piece of plywood here. It's so nice because I keep all my ketchup cook stuff in this pack. And then we have a little foam cooler. You can buy these for five bucks or sometimes $4 at Walmart. And look at this folks, I got some pickles. We've got regular dill pickles and some hot and spicy pickles. I got the catfish flakes in here. They've been um, marinating in Sprite for the last like 20 minutes. And that helps sweeten up catfish meat in case you are new to my channel all the old subscribers know the trick but never seen this kind of vegetable oil before nothing like fried catfish folks so that's something new to try never tried it on my channel beer batter louisiana kitchen fish fry beer batter seafood batter pub style recipe pour some of it in there you know, at first glance, it seems a little more like, a little more like flowery. And now we shall try for the first time on my channel, Slap Ya Mama Cajun Seasoning. For years, it feels like you guys have been telling me to try this seasoning. And I'm about to, if I can get it open, try it now. Ooh, Cajun-y. Mmm. Do I detect... My mouth is watering. <laughs> I sniffed this and my mouth started watering. Fish just jumped right there. Another fish jumping all over. I, do I detect notes of lime in here? Let's put some of that in there. We'll be real generous. Then we're going to take the fish out of the cooler and soak it in that Sprite, sweetening up the meat. We're going to throw some filets right in there. Let me just zip that up. Shake them all around, get them nice and coated real good. And I kind of like to squeeze, you know, just like pat them real good so that seasoning really coats them up. And then what we're gonna do is grab out of here some pickles. Oh snap, pickles. Oh snap, pickling company. Super Crunch. These are little hottie bites. There we go, some fried pickles going. Cooking up nicely there. Those don't take long at all. Oh, look, there's a pickle that got forgotten. I'm going to take this small filet and just stick him, snuggle him right in there with all the other pickles. 
folks, I keep seeing fish jump all over. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to come back out and fish this pond. Maybe a, a, an evening topwater bite like this. I'll bet they're biting topwater right now. So I'll have to come out in another video and and fish this, this pond here. All right. Woohoo! They feel crispy. I can just feel them through the tongs that they're little crispy devils. What do you think? That looks perfect to me. Look how thickly coated that pickle is. Let's give you a, you know, let's say prayer real, real fast. Like always. Okay. Thickly coated pickle. Boy. The burst of flavor is really good. Folks, that's the best fried pickle I've ever made. I don't know if it's this or if it's the actual pickles themselves, which are very flavorful, or the combination of the two. That's the best pickle I've made. That's my my PB pickle. Let's try a bit of catfish. It's still a little hot. Try the corner here. Let's see if the catfish is as good as the pickle. It is delicious. When I say it's the best catfish I've made, that's tough because I've eaten a lot of fried catfish. This is certainly, this will make the top five. This right here, the Slap Ya Mama, I have to say, I love my seasoning and stuff. I have a good seasoning, but the Slap Ya Mama has a, has a bit definitely a spicier, uh, it has a spicier flavor to it. So if you want a little something spicier, you might want to consider Slap Ya Mama. I mean, I love my seasoning on a lot of stuff, but that is really good. Whoa, a coyote. Guys, look at that coyote, you see that? Probably hard to see in the dim light. Wow, folks, we are right in the middle of the city. And he is out here. In fact, there's a goose on the pond and the coyote down there. That's nuts. All right, let's fish. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shut this off real quick. We'll finish cooking the rest of the catfish in just a second. Set that there. Grab fishing rod. Just one cast, folks, just one cast. Oh, that wasn't a very good cast. We'll have to do another one. Wait, there's a tail right there. You know what I need to do? I need to cast parallel to this rock wall. Perfect, perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go. What? That may have been a fish. That may have been a fish. Not sure. Let's try that again. Let's try it again. Let's, let's try down this side of the wall. Perfect. All right, last cast. Even right here, last cast. Wait, didn't I say? I don't remember. Oh, I had weeds on it. That doesn't count. Come on, weeds. All right, we're gonna cast it right out in the middle. This is really the last cast. Then I gotta finish cooking. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out on day one of the Texas series. Really good fried catfish and pickles. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for recommending to me. Slap your mama seasoning. Probably use this again sometime. I'm gonna cook the rest of this catfish, bring it up to my family. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.